Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm the explosive one. Let's crack it to another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Are you familiar with the company uh, Google? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of them, Jonas. What do you tell me about them a little bit? Well, they're a search engine company who farms data of Americans. Son of a bitch. And everybody else. They were, just don't be evil was their slogan. Guess what? Now they're an evil corporation. They're an evil corporation? I never heard of such What is thing. an evil corporation? You do ask. It is a, anyways. Uh, so they had some employees. They have a few employees. A lot. For sure. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a war going on and some people are very like, have very strong opinions about who's at fault and who isn't. All right, we spoke about a little bit about this uh, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay, fair enough. They are. Um, they called it Googlers against genocide. Oh Jesus! And it was a protest against Israel and their war. And twenty eight of their empo- twenty eight employees did a sit in in two corporate offices in California and New York. And, uh, you know, they did the whole protest thing there. Okay, fair enough. A lot and, of people have very strong feelings about yeah, this. Yeah, you know, okay. I mean, some people are, like, chaining themselves to trees. Some people are, like, you know, going down to protest at the Capitol about abortion. Some people are sitting in at Google because Google's, I don't know what they're doing to Israel, but that's where they felt they should protest. And they wrapped it up. Google fired them. All 28 of them. Google fired all of the protesters. Google fired their ass because they inhibited the work of other Googlers. Fair enough. Yeah. So, you know, Joe Google sitting at his goddamn desk. He's trying to get a cup of coffee. And he's like, there's protesters in my lobby. And then Sandy Google was like, I'm trying to get out and get some coffee, too. (coughs) Jonas, man. Oh, my God. (sighs) This is funny. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell a story. Did that, you do a protest at like a job? That, I did. Oh, fudge. I did. I did. I did. All right, Jonas. So look, this was this was Dynamite Junior when I was a little baby mite. Like like over 18 though, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay, 18. cool. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how old I was during the time, but I was young. I mean, you're young. only 26 now, so not too long ago. And I don't know... I was working at a certain uh, certain job, and we had benefits where we would work four days, or where we worked three days a week, three twelves, and we get paid for forty hours. It was oh. a, it was a great benefit. So you got four extra hours pay, but yeah. because you work twelve hour shifts. Yeah. yeah, and I and I'd been working there for I don't know like freaking years at this point, and I'd gotten accustomed to that benefit, right? Obviously, you're going to get accustomed to a couple extra bucks on your paycheck. Came to pass that they decided to eliminate this program, and they were going to start paying you for, you know, you work, you get paid for what you work. And okay, I like, which I right. mean, like, I don't blame them for that, but, like, yes, they're taking yeah. away, like, a, per- a perk, right? Yeah. It's, it's so funny, John. So, well, I, I kind of, I, I, I hate to say this, but I watched a TikTok. <laughs> God it damn it, was, Dad! I watched a TikTok it about was very this. informative on the way that the corporations think and the kind of how it's um, impacted American uh, economy as a whole. Right, right. But right. regardless, yes, Jonas, I walked into the uh, the boss's office and I was like, "This is a tragedy. The company, I understand, is going in a new direction, but a lot of people are depending on this." And I'd like to have a sit down with you and some of the other uh, uh, head officials. And I'd like to just talk about this certain program and about like some of the things that's going on. And I was like, I have a, I have a couple of other people who I'd spoken to and I was like, and we'd all like to just sit down and just discuss it. And maybe we can come to some sort of agreement. And I was fired within a week. Oh, really? Oh yeah. They fired the hell out of me. Yeah, for nothing. You, you ruffling feathers. For nothing, dude. I ain't do what did look, they what did they officially fire you okay, for? Okay, so look, this is what I officially got fired for. My car broke down, Jonas. Dead ass. I had gotten into an accident. <laughs> I was in Cleveland, got into an accident, car ran into the abruptment that separates the freeway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the cops pulled up on me. They're like, You okay? I was like, Yeah, I'm fine, man. I'm just waiting for the tow truck. 
I needed a ride to work. I called my ride. They did not call me. I called work. I'm like, look, I can't come in. My ride's not coming. I don't know what's happening. I'm like, it's too late. I can't catch three buses and a rapid to get there. They stop. I don't know what to do. And they're like, all right, fine. It's fine. At least you called. Fired me the next day. All right. I had been working there for I don't even know how many years. I'd had no. You didn't have, so it's like you didn't have like attendance occurrences no, built up. No, I no. Sw- I, that has never been my issue. I don't mind going to work because work is money. Let's get it. You know, so I but the fact that if you ruffle feathers, they will get rid of your ass stands true. It stands. true. Oh, yeah. They don't. I mean, they want the sheep to flock. <laughs> They want the sheep to flock is wild. They don't want why they don't want the they don't want the the, the sheep knocking wild. at the door. They want them just out there doing their thing. Go do your wild. thing, sheep. So it takes it takes bravery. Oh yeah, to stand up to your company. Oh, absolutely. These people exhibited that bravery, man. These people they showed that that gusto. Oh yeah, like I I've never done that. I will. I did have like a situation at work where like the the department that I worked in like the the disbursement of work is not equitable amongst employees. So we all <laughs> no fuck kind of corporal speak was that man? <laughs> Would you just say to me? <laughs> the hell did you just say to me? I don't know. You sound like a mark. <laughs> you about to send that, me to jail right that now? Fucking Bezos speak, Elon. <laughs> talk what'd you just say to me the disbursement of work wasn't equitable to the employees <laughs> the yeah. fuck are you do you sound like a shareholder <laughs> so uh so yeah so i was doing more work than somebody else just ba- ah i like that All yeah. right. okay so i i was already doing more work my, my the work i did was heavier a heavier lift than their work Fair enough. so what they wanted to do was then <clears throat> Take some of the people that they supported, this mm-hmm. other person, and give them to me. So essentially adding even more work to my plate and taking work away from the person who was already doing less work. I think that's a sentiment that a lot of people can agree with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, okay. We've all been there. And we're like, I was just like, I like raised my hand. Like, excuse me. I was like. I raised my hand. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> so. You know, I mean, this is all facetiously being told, but I mean, essentially, I raised my hand. They were like, excuse me, Jonas, you have something to say? I'm like, absolutely, sir. Um, And I go, I just don't understand why we're adding to my plate. Motherfudger. And taking away from their plate because they're already doing less work. And they were like, oh, the equitable distribution of work. And I was like. So, so I started blasting. So I was like, so where's my raise? Ooh, where is your raise? And they're like, you're not going to get one. And you quit. No. Because of power. And then I was like, if that's going to happen, I need to be the one that organizes it. Mm. And then I organized the whole thing. And you then organized your own raise? I organized the, the disbursement of work. Oh, okay. And then it never happened. It went away. They decided Ooh, not to do it. They they took they took it under consideration and then deconsiderated. They it. knew what was up. They they de- didn't want the wrath of Jock's Nas. My man got deconsiderated real quick. I didn't get fired though. You did not get fired. I just but... I stood my ground. I said, "Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be mad for five minutes. Yeah, I'll be so mad. You better, God damn it." But if y'all forget about it, maybe I forget about it too. And then they forgot about it. All right, fair enough. Yeah. So that I don't have any like real. Did I ever have like a real injustice? Uh, I used to work at a blockbuster video. <laughs> yeah, we've and, talked about your blockbuster they, uh, days many a time. And like I, when they like told everyone they were getting rid of late fees. Yeah. I mean, nobody really cared, but we all knew that the store was going to close because like that was how they made their money. Uh, ah, yeah. the truth comes out. And then we're like, oh, this looks bad. And then yeah. They could have bought Netflix and didn't. They had an opportunity to buy Netflix and turned it down. It's so funny how Blockbuster was literally like, uh, like a what do you, what do you call? It? I forgot what they're called. DVD library. Yeah, like, was, like because libraries made all their money off of late fees. Yeah, like yeah. it was like thirty percent of our revenue was late fees, and then Insane. like, and I'm like, so you're taking that away? I get it. Okay, Insane. what are we replacing that thirty percent of revenue with? That has no overhead cost. And they're like, nothing. And I'm like, 
the, the fuck? <laughs> the loss of late fees became the lost loser, but it was too much of a loss loser. Yeah, it was it was insane because then like nobody would return their stuff. Yeah. They oh, if it was more than two weeks late, they charged you a two dollar and fifty cent fee. So they would just and then when you brought it back, they'd take it off. They would have been better going the route that uh Planet Fitness went when they decided to start stop taking your credit card information and start linking your account to your bank. Mm, so you can't just cancel the card. So you can't just cancel it. Yeah. <coughs> Make it a little bit more difficult for you. Anywho. Yeah, I'm sorry you got fired, man, but you know what? Look, I'm going to tell you right now, people do not stand up for what you believe in. If you believe in something long, hard enough, fight for that ish, all right? Do not ruffle corporate feathers, though. Educate yourself. Yeah. And fight for what you believe in. Yep, yep. So, anywho, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown and thecrazytown.com and, and do it. Jonas. TNT. We up.